guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna make our next appetizer. The next thing we're doing is we're making a um we're making a dip, another one, and we are making um a fruit dip. So the ingredients are gonna be vanilla extract. Um you're gonna need a fourth a cup, one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream and some uh, powdered wait, confectioner sugar. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our mixture and we're going to beat this. Now the goal here with this is we're going to beat this until it's um, has like a smooth so let's get started. Let's start mixing. Now this recipe is a basic recipe it's not really that my viewers wanted me to make this, so I'm here, and I hope you guys can hear me on this mixture, but I'm talking as loud as I can, so I'm going to mix this up, you can tell. They ain't dug and make this request that I make this, so I'm making it for them. This is a really simple recipe, it's not hard, I'm just, we're basically going to make this, so that's the consistency I want. Um, now, if you guys don't know how to make this dip, um, this is what I'm here for. I'm going to show you guys how to make a basic this dip. It's really easy. It's going to be delicious. Let's really keep on beating it. It's strong. And this recipe. Now, um, if you guys remember earlier when I showed you how to make the um, buffalo chicken dip, we're going to put that dip through the dip. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next step. So, Alright guys, so we're going to move on to the next step. So we're going to add one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. We're going to do, now, you, now, with, I'm going to tell you guys, this, we don't need a lot of. We only need a little bit of vanilla. We don't need a lot, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit of vanilla. Not very much vanilla, because you don't want to overpower. Okay, just a little bit of vanilla, okay? And you're also going to need the powdered sugar, some confection sugar. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in again, and we're going to mix again. Now, this time, we're going to mix this until it's, until it's smooth, okay? We do not, we don't want to overdo it. We don't want it liquidy. No, nothing running around. We want it to be smooth, okay? Alright, so, move this stuff out of my way. Okay, alright, let's get started. So, we got to get going. So, I'm going to take this, and we're going to start mixing again. You're basically going to mix this until it's nice and um, close up, nice and sticky. You want to make it smooth. Right? Now, this is a basic recipe. It's not like really that hard to make. Um, you guys, so you guys start watching at home. You guys can be able to see me how to make it. You guys can be able to see how to make this recipe. Right? Okay? I'm going to mix this. I'm going to mix you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to keep running, you want to make it uh, uh, nice and efficient, okay? So we'll keep on going. I'll show you guys this in a minute. It's really easy to make, not hard. Now, you guys remember, you guys gotta remember this. Um, if you guys have, if you guys are a bigger family, you guys can double the breath, we're a family of six. So we are just making, oh, making what the best we got. Um, my friends requested that I make this dip, so I'm making it for them. Doug Bing Nicholas requested that I make this, so I am. Now, like I told you in the beginning, we're not, we don't want to over mix it, we don't want to underdo it. 
Alright guys, so this I'm gonna show you guys. You can spoon it out and we're gonna store it in that bowl until it's time. Okay. Yeah. Good job, Jamie. Alright, guys, so let's get started. So we're gonna store it into our bowl. And. Um, this, you know, this, um, right here, guys, this process I'm doing right now does require a little bit of patience, so just bear with me for a minute. Now, how easy was this dip? This dip was so easy to make, it was not really that difficult to make. It was easy to make, I'm just scooping it into the bowl. 